Hello everyone. Welcome to the best of IPM series. My name is Jaimin Shah. This is the IPMAT 2019 QA MCQ section. So there's the equation given quadratic equation. Let alpha and beta be the root of one of the equation and gamma and delta be the root of another quadratic equation. And it's said that all the four roots okay, are in geometric progression. You need to find the value of e plus q. Pause the video, solve the question and then come back with the solution. Hello everyone. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos, sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free. To avail this, please click on the link mentioned under the description box below. Happy learning. So the one very smart approach to solve this question. I know that the alpha and beta are the root of the first equation and gamma and delta are the root of the second equation. Sum of the root here is 1 and sum of the root here is 4. Okay, I need to find out what is the value of e plus q. And the roots are in geometric progression. If I assume the roots to be 1, 2, 4, 8, it does not satisfy the sum to be 1 and sum to be 4. But what if I say that it is minus 1, then you multiply, I mean the common ratio is minus 2. So this becomes 2, this becomes minus 4 and again minus 4 into minus 2 becomes 8. So we have achieved this. So what is my p here? p is product of the root. So p will be minus 1 into 2 that is minus 2. And what is q here? q will be minus 4 into minus a that is minus 32. So what is the sum? Minus 2 and minus 32 that adds up to minus 34 and that is the right answer without actually solving the particular this particular question. Could have started with the number and we could have arrived at the right answer. But let us see how can we solve this question mathematically. Okay? So if the first root is alpha then the value of beta will be alpha into r. The value of gamma will be alpha into r square and the value of delta will be alpha into r cube. Right? From the first equation I get alpha into alpha uh, alpha plus alpha into r that is alpha into 1 plus r is equal to 1 and from the second equation from this equation what do we get alpha I can take r square common from this two term and I will be left with 1 plus r is equal to 4 correct. So now what I can do is I can divide this particular equation by this equation. So I can see that 1 plus r and alpha being cancel out. So I will be left with r square is equal to 4 and that gives me r is equal to plus or minus 2. I get r is equal to plus or minus 2. So if r is equal to 2, then substitute r is equal to 2 here, we get alpha is equal to 1 by 3 we get beta is equal to 2 by 3, we get uh, delta is equal to 4 by 3, sorry gamma is equal to 4 by 3 and delta is equal to 8 by 3 is what I get. But if r is equal to minus 2, then alpha is equal to, uh, from here I will get minus 2, uh, so it will become minus 1, beta is equal to 2, gamma is equal to minus 4 and delta is equal to 8. And I know that, you know, since all the options are integral values, I, I will straight away start with r is equal to minus 2 here because r is equal to 2 for all, I mean, all the roots have decimal and all of them have denominator 3, okay. So let me directly start with r is equal to minus 2. So what is p in this case? 
So P is minus 1 into my plus 2 that is minus 2 okay and Q is nothing but as minus 4 into my plus 8 that is minus 32 right. So basically my answer P plus Q will be minus 2 plus minus 32 that is minus 34 and that's that that's the answer that we have arrived at by solving with the earlier approach. Now there is a possibility that you know even if you start with r is equal to 2 you may end up getting a integral value if the addition if the numerator you know it's getting multi uh, you know it's can getting cancelled with uh, the denominator okay that's that's very much possible but it's obvious to start with an integral value because the options are given there, uh, like that yeah so now you can try this particular question the replica of what we have done so far and comment your answer in the comment section we will get back to you with the correct answer in next 24 hours.